Hello guys, it's Jace Far, and we are back with Pokemon Fire Red. At least I hope we are. And we're gonna go ahead and take out Vermilion. Hopefully this gym goes by in a way that is able to take the whole video. I did not expect this man to approach me. I just realized, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this, and then we'll have something else to explore real quick, and then we'll probably call that a part. Maybe a short part, but it'll be a part nonetheless. And before this guy, well, after this guy is finished hurting me, Plus one advantage is I like Nido King because it's got poison point. Right now it's just strictly a poison type. That's gonna be fixed after this bot battle is done. Just give it a nice firm ouch. Horn attacking. I don't like Pikachu too much because it like has very, very terrible defense. So I think that's another reason why I didn't feel like using it. But see when I do get that, my Pikachu, not the one in the Verdian Forest, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. When I do catch another Pikachu, I'm going to be training it, and it'll be evolved, and everything is super quick, and it'll be super awesome, and I'll be super happy, and yay. Nido King, you just totally messed that Pikachu up. Good show, sir. Nido King's going to be a valuable asset in this, but I say, as for now, we're just going to leave him alone. Because Gyarados and Hunkyot are not going to be serving me much use in this area. Because, as you can see, it's all electrical types. And the cool thing about, oops, electric types that, like, most people don't even consider is I find them incredibly useful because they're only, stop that, weak to one thing. That one thing being ground. So nothing else can really even hurt it. Well, I mean, come close to doing the amount of damage that a ground type would. So if you do have, you know, an electric, you got yourself a pretty good advantage. Now... The reason I did not evolve Nido King earlier is because when it evolves, it turns into a ground type. Ground types beat electric types, as I just stated earlier, and are also weak to water types. So if it wasn't obvious enough, I didn't want to get Nido King killed by Misty because that would be a stupid mistake. However, it will serve us as an advantage for killing Surge. Granted, it doesn't have any ground type moves. It'll at least provide us immunity from electric type attacks because they cannot hit us. As for now, I'm going to let Chozard get some of the action first, for a while. Shall we? You're a lightweight, huh? <laughs> That's funny. They're at a gym. This, you don't work out here at all. Pokemon, you cheeky bastards, you. <laughs> With your false advertising and everything. That's not false advertising. I don't know, I just thought about that. It's a, it's a gym. A gym. People work out at a gyms. Gyms. Jim's also the name of a guy. Jimmy Fallon? Fallon? Yeah, there's Jimmy Fallon. I'm trying to think of someone. Watch this, watch this. See that? It killed it. See that? I didn't waste a good attack. See that? It was useful. See that? Suck my dick. Yeah. Fucking criticize me. I'm being rude, but you know what? I feel like I need to be rude to prove a point. Because a lot of people are really stubborn and just not open to like certain ways of playing. Anything works in-game, as a lot of people say. So just get over that, alright? I'm not being competitive, and I would never consider myself a competitive player. So, yeah. I might just clear this gym in no time at all. So yeah, this may be like a 10-minute episode or something. Pick Hachu. Let's watch this, though. Cut will annihilate Pikachu. See, that took out like half its health right there. Granted, Mega Punch could probably kill it in one hit, but... You see that? You see, Pikachu's so shitty that Cut can beat it. And then Chozar became a level 25 and grew stronger. Stop, you're very good. Well, why should I stop then? Shouldn't I compete? And then, if you talk to these guys, they'll tell you that there's secrets inside the trash. And that after you find one switch, the other switch is right next to it. The only problem about the switch being right next to it is that, you know, there's kind of opportunities for, like, three, four, like, right here. Here's the switch. But here's the thing, it could be in this one, that one, or the one on the left. So, I don't really know. I have no complaints with this. How's it going, Surge? I like Surge, he's cool. I don't feel like I need to heal at all. I think we can take this. Hey, kid! What do you think you're doing here? 
You won't last long in coming out with your puny power. I'll tell you, kid, I'll let your Pokemon save me during the war. This is that my enemies into paralysis. I don't think that's illegal, actually. Same as I'll do to you! It's very not nice. That was a terrible impression of Surge. I just felt like giving him a voice because I like him. He's probably my favorite gym leader. I remember the episode of um, Pokemon where he was in it. He was like all big tough guy and like he knocked Pikachu down. And then Raichu was like laughing at him like a douche. Like, look at that puny Pikachu, man. I'm a big Raichu. I'll show him what's what. That was the best episode ever. My brother's also a real good. We like Lieutenant Surge. He's the coolest guy. Sonic Boom. Uh, as I've said in Coliseum, is a fixed attack, which means that it will always do 20 damage regardless. And he used his super potion up, which doesn't really bother me that much, because watch. I bet you I can kill it with Mega Punch. Punch that ball right in the fucking forehead. I didn't kill it. And that's Shockwave. Shockwave is 60 power, and never misses. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually sneezed in a recording before. I probably have, but I just sneezed there. Alright, that's cool. And he's about to use Pikachu. So let's switch to Nidoking. Because we've been using What's-His-Face for a little bit. So we might as well let Nidoking take the spotlight for a little bit. And by do that, I mean, we're gonna attack him right in the face. Boom. See, I told you, you'd hit him right in the face. And it took one shot. Raichu. I was expecting him to have, like, a Magneton or something. I don't know why I was expecting to have one. Raichu is actually way better. Like Pikachu has the defense of a cardboard box, while Raichu has the defense of like a wood frame. You see, like that one horn attack. Granted, that's a six level difference. Killed Pikachu in one hit. Well, it only did like a third of the damage. Raichu is actually good. Pikachu is just terrible. So, yeah. But Raichu got critical hit and killed. I think he had poison. Oh yeah, that's really gonna do me a lot of good. Or you a lot of good, I should say. That's a shocker. Ha! <laughs> I get it, cause you're... <laughs> you do electric types, you guy. <laughs> you're funny. Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon's speed. It also lets you use Fly... Huh? TM34. Which is Shockwave. Now, I would teach that originally, like I said, Pikachu being on my team, which will be evolved into Raichu. I would teach that to Raichu, but there's just a better um, electrical attack by like 30, so I'd rather teach it that instead. So, that it, we're just going to leave Shockwave alone. However, I really, really do like Shockwave. It's a great attack. Now, back here, though, we enter Diglett's Cave. I bet you can guess what's in here. You can't? Money. Well, I'll go ahead and show you. Diglets. I'm gonna catch at least one. So that's why I didn't bother putting up a repel. Let's see how much cut does. See? You see? That's a, that's a good amount. I couldn't do it and make sure it lived. Ember would have killed it, and so would have Mega Punch. My only other bet would have been Metal Claw, and that would have done, like, taken forever before I had done any damage to it. And then from that, we catch ourselves a Niglet. Diglet. Will you give it a nickname? No. That was not a sink at all, by the way. Now we can go ahead and up some spray and repel. What repel is due, which I actually didn't know, to, um, know until I was told, is that they make sure any Pokemon that is weaker than your front member does not approach. So if you have... What I just did, you can run into a Doug Trio. Granted, I already have a Diglett, so I don't need one. Yeah, you missed. <laughs> Don't mud slap me, you cock. You just killed my Chozart. No. I mean, I know I'm passing up a Doug Tree, but I'm never going to use it, so why the hell should I care? And now another one's going to show up, isn't he? No. Funky odd. Oh. 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 I swear to God, if you can't escape and he's underground, I'm gonna be pissed. Are you stupid? Both of you. Alright, let's put someone up. Let's put Needle King up there and maybe the frickin' repel will work. You're not what I want. You are. Ugh. 
See, this is why I don't like repels too much. It's because, like, granted they're useful. It's just irritating as shit when something pops up like a... Never before have so many Doug Trios approached me. I swear to God, I, like, Doug Trios do not show up that often. Why the hell are they showing up like cauliflower right now? Piss off! I don't want you... Oh, great, yeah. That, that's a good one. Show you arena trap. Yeah, so you're poisoned. That took so long. I swear to God, I thought. Uh, repels were off. I'm gonna spray another one. Granted, it will be like not even another hundred steps before I leave. I'm not taking this chance. Fuck this place. I hate this place. It's pissed me off now. If I could go down, thank you. And then while I'm here visiting, I'll do another side chore and then we'll call it a part Lieutenant Surge and the Annoying Diglets starring JC4R Hi, remember me? I have AIDS and if you catch 10, I'll give them to you You know, I don't feel bad about that analogy at all because it's basically the same thing Now, in reality though I say that HM05 being Flash, considering it's like only used at least once per game, it would be better as an item. Honestly. Like, have a Flash grenade. You use it once and that's it. Cut, I can understand. It totally makes sense and everything. No, oh, don't do that. And then, the other HMs, those all make sense too, but... Flash, you literally use only once per each game, so... You'd be better off just making it an item. Chances are they won't, though, because it's like... It, I don't want to say a trademark. But it's just one of those things, so they're not going to change it. Anyway, if you go in here, this is a museum about the ancient Pokemon, and... Yeah, and if you talk to this guy, he'll give you a little secret piece of amber. And it's super awesome, and I love it. And then, yeah. It'll serve us use way, way, way later. But as for now, I figured I'd get the hell out of my way. Right down here. Yeah. I think that's really about it as far as this part goes. Cause like we're at 12 minutes. I feel like I need to like keep talking to like make it have worth, but truth is we're not gonna be doing anything else. This is the extent of it. All I need to do now is No, I know where we need to go. We need to head back to Cerulean. Yeah. I'm gonna clear some trainers off screen and all that. We mainly need to head off to Cerulean. I don't know. Well, I at least want to show you where we're going. No, I don't think I will. Fine, I'm leaving this freaking thing and then I'll end it, okay? <laughs> you don't need to be so mad at me, guys. I swear I love you. Why else would I be doing this? Eh. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm JC4, and these are the trainers I'm going to be clearing off screen. I'll see you guys later. And yes, I'll leave all the items alone for you. Good night.